Greetings everyone, and welcome to Scooby-Doo Mystery for the Super Nintendo. Yep, the gang's on their way for a nice break. A well-deserved one. At the fun fair, where else? Much better than the creepy places I usually go to. Poor Shaggy's always thinking about food. And here we are at the Bing Bong Bros Fair. Nothing can go wrong here. Everything's happy. It's a fair. Right? Yeah, Shaggy, relax. You're always scared. Uh-oh, something's going on here. Looks like we have a mystery. Yep, definitely a mystery on our hands. Exactly, Velma. Exactly. Good idea. And with that, we begin. In this game, you play as Shaggy and Scooby, and you go around looking for clues, trying to solve a mystery. Pretty good concept, I guess. So let's pick up this by pushing the up button. These are coconuts. It's a little makeshift weapon for a little while. It's a limited supply, so don't use them all right away. So what you do is you go around making your way to each different part of the stage. Oh, here's our villain of this level. He is an evil clown. So you can sniff around and look for objects that are hidden. Hey, we got something, our first clue. What is it? Well, we'll find out. And what's this? No clue either. Let's go over to Velma and find out. You push the R button when you walk over to her and she tells you what's going on. Hmm, we got a bell, okay. Well, let's find out what this is. I'll walk away. Ah, manual. Let's talk to Fred. What's up, Fred? Well, Freddy, I already sniffed one of them out, so... It's all under control. More phones this way. So, Oh, look, it's oil! Ah, uh, we can't use the oil. Oh, well. More funds this way, so let's head over here. Hey, look, it's Daphne. Oh, thanks. A mallet. Well, we can piece these together. We'll put the bell here. Go ahead and use the manual. And we'll use the mallet. Yeah! Increase my strength, and I got a prize. What is it? Oh, neat. I got some keys. Well, Freddy, what do we do with the keys? Ah, we can unlock more of the fair. Great. Well, we can go up or we can go down. I feel like going down. Oh, okay. Then I guess I have to go up. Hey, look. It's a claw machine. Eh, but we don't have any money, unfortunately. Hey, Daphne. What do you think... Well, Velma, what do you think of these keys? Oh, okay, we need to get some more clues then. Whoa! Yeah, one of them... Oh, no, 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 not again! <laughs> one of the hidden villains of the game. We can head inside one of these tents. And it's all dark, so let's sniff around and see what we can find in here. Ah, money! It means we get to play the claw machine. What lies in the mystery claw machine thing? Well, you're gonna have to find out because we're out of time for this video. So, see you for the next game, and if you like, check out this game. So long. Centipede for the Dreamcast. The 3D version. We could do the classic original arcade version of Centipede, or we could do the new 3D special version. We're gonna do this. Because I say so. One player. And. Go with hard, because I'm awesome like that. When the world came down, this legend had come to life. We built the future. But we need to think he wrote a fly. <laughs> this shoot was a magic stick didn't point to the usual heroes. It pointed to Wally. Now Wally 
wasn't one of the usual heroes. In fact, he wasn't a hero at all. He was just a simple bean counter. But when you're asked to save the world, you don't ask why. You just make it happen. So with that brief intro, Wally must save the world. For centipedes are trying to take over. Well, we got the overhead view, or you can go ahead and take it a little bit further and go special 3D mode. How do you do that? Well, you hear that saying, Wally, save me. I'll save you, relax. No. Alright, kicking ass. Oh, I never answered the question. How do you shrink it down? Well, you gotta push one of the buttons. That's how. It's that simple. You can alternate between high, low, overhead view, or 3D view at will. Oh no, I took a hit. I'll save you, kid. So this game's just a, basically a 3D version of Centipede. That's all there is to it. You just go around and you stop the Centipede from going around. And get into the village. What's well, the story anyway in my head? We, we're trying to get to a village and you want to stop it. Because why well, did come from a village after all? Eventually, once you complete enough of these mini stages, you move on to a completely different level. It becomes much harder and you can travel more than just this little path. Oh crap. Like you can see you can only go really up and down here. You can end up going across the bridge, see? Once you beat this stage enough times, it opens your way. Oh no. Oh I got the spider. Good. Shoot the centipede. Oh. See, I'm not gonna let them kill me. Yeah, free life. No, you don't. See, the spiders were in the original arcade version, as were the centipedes, and I don't know what that bouncy thing is, but I'm vaguely remembering something, I think, that was something like that in the arcade version. And with that, I just saved the world. In this LP, anyway. See you for the next game. Dragon's Lair for the NES. Yeah, yeah, really, it's completely different than the arcade version. See? This is a 2D stroller game. The arcade version is... Ah, oh, crap. The arcade version is known for its movie-like movie, movie -like cartoon graphics. This has nothing like that. And this game is also much, much harder. So I have to make my way across this bridge. Ah, oh, crap. So, there's a sea monster, apparently, and it kills me. So, what do I do? Well, I'm gonna kill the bat, first of all. And I don't know what this G does, but let's find out. Oh, no! Nah. Try it again. Okay, die. Crap, stupid bridge! Well, let's try that one again. Come here. No! Uh, jump system's awful. Damn it. Alright. Well, I'm gonna get it this time. Trust me. Die. Well, so far so good. Just let me just jump over here and... Got it. No! Stupid bat. Well, I can't reach it that way. And it killed me. Okay, you know what? Screw the G. Let's try this again. We don't need the G, we're good without it. So I'll just go ahead and kill you. No! Oh, you can't stand still for like more than two seconds, that's stupid. Okay, so I'm just gonna charge right through and try it that way. Oh, what the crap was that? Okay, so trying it again. Die. Okay, so charge right through and... Haha! -ha. Oh, I closed. Why you can't touch the door? Okay, I call bullshit. 
Ah, that's right. I remember from that stupid Dangry Video Game Nerds video. I remember you couldn't touch the door. Should have remembered that. Stupid me. Come on. That's right. Oh, no, you gotta. No! I don't wanna die. So I gotta kill a sea monster. If I can get to it without dying. Okay, hop back over here. Stupid about. Okay, so I'm gonna duck down here. No. Come on. You're not gonna come back up, are you? Oh, come on. Suppose I duck? Are you serious? Oh, this is ridiculous. How the hell am I supposed to even get in there? Okay, so, now you stay- No! I <laughs> can't do it. Alright, one more try. I can do this. I believe in my- Maybe they- Ah, oh, crap. Okay, screw this. See you for the next video.